Are you on a keto diet and you're over 40? If you're over 40, your metabolism has probably slowed down a lot and you might even be toxic. So stay tuned and listen in to all of my tips and tricks to maximize and supercharge your keto diet. So here are some of the things you want to avoid or some of the things you do not want to do if you're on a keto diet and you're over 40. The first thing is don't start a keto diet unless you've detoxified your intestinal tract first. That way you're gonna make sure that your intestines and your digestive system are working properly and efficiently and they're able to absorb and utilize all of the nutrients in your system. What I've found is by the time we're 40 or above 40, we can have anywhere between 10, 15, 20 pounds of compaction in our intestinal lining. So it always will supercharge your keto diet if you take a step back and cleanse the system. Next, don't eat in the mornings and don't eat in the evenings. Give yourself some time to detoxify in the morning. Utilize some colon cleansing supplements. Make sure you supplement with probiotics. But eating late at night is going to prevent your body from healing itself. A keto diet, your body is in ketosis, so your body can rapidly heal. So you want to be, if possible, doing some intermittent fasting, skipping that breakfast, or eating earlier in the day. Make sure you eat your dinner around 6 p.m. and don't eat anything after that unless it might be a low glycemic fruit, maybe a cabbage salad, maybe a half of an avocado, just eat very light. The next thing I would recommend is just not eating a lot. Reduce your portion sizes by 25% or by 50%. The more you eat, the more energy it's gonna take your body to break down those foods. Now some people think that they can just eat as much fat as they want, they can eat as much meat as they want on a keto diet, I completely disagree with that. There is a limit. You want to watch your caloric intake and eat the minimum amount of fats possible and eat more live, fresh, ketogenic vegetables as well as low glycemic fruits. Next thing, don't stay on a ketogenic diet for too long. A lot of people think that they want to continue doing this for long periods of time. Now, I'm a big fan of not consuming sugar, limiting the amount of carbohydrates, but whatever you're trying to achieve, there's variations you should put into your diet, you know, seasonal variations. So I don't recommend that you stay on a full, strict, under 30 grams of carbohydrates a day diet for a long period of time. I'm more education-based, learning how to change your lifestyle for the better, and learning how to read labels, learning how to avoid carbohydrates on a regular basis, but not necessarily being in a keto state. My next recommendation is to not eat conventional-based food. So if you're going to be on a low carbohydrate diet and you're making that commitment, you can also make the commitment to eat organic, buy organic foods. And when you do that, you avoid all the genetically modified foods out there. You avoid all the chemicals and the toxins and you really should be drinking water only. Another thing, don't stay up too late. People love to stay up late. They love to watch TV but the mornings are so precious. So don't stay up too late. Eat your meal around six o'clock or eat your meal early in the evening and make sure that you do some meditation, some stress relieving techniques before you go to bed and go to bed in a nice calm state. Next, don't surround yourself with stressful situations or even negative people. This can take a toll on your body and you wanna be in a relaxed, calm state. If you feel like you're in a state of anxiety, if you feel like you're going through some stress, utilize some really good stress reduction techniques like meditation or even the Wim Hof breathing method. Those are my two solutions for whenever I feel anxiety or I feel stress. But it's very important that anything you're doing in your life, you condense and reduce the amount of stressors that are around you and that you might be putting within yourself. 
Food actually can cause stress as well. Toxic food or eating too much can cause stress. You might feel shame. You might feel guilt after you eat too much. Now, we always like to share good tips and tricks with the community. So if you've been on a keto diet, if you are over 40, please let us know the things that did not work for you so we can share those with our community, the don'ts, the things that you noticed that hampered or restricted you from being on a keto diet. And please, share this information, subscribe, and click the notification bell. That's it for today. I hope you learned what not to do on a keto diet over 40. Just remember, you have the power to heal. You have a self-healing mechanism, and you have the power to live healthy and live happily.